Hey guys, so I just made a new macro for my print farm and this is to keep me from destroying uh, countless tool heads. I think I've probably replaced 20 in the, in the past year simply because um, I do use auto eject on these machines when printing ABS and occasionally the print sticks to the bill plate and doesn't drop but the printer doesn't really know that. I just have G-code commands that after the print is done it's supposed to uh, just knock it off the build plate if it detaches successfully and then continue on with the next print. But that doesn't always happen and sometimes uh, overnight I, I come to a printer that has a destroyed print head and, and sometimes I have to replace the adapter board because it's been fried, it's shorted out, and it's just a big mess. So I've created a macro and this macro what it does is it uses the camera to check to see if something is still on the build plate before starting the next print and it's pretty neat. I was able to to create this macro and actually get it working. So I'll show you how it works. I have this mac this macro here uh check plate. And what it does is it takes a picture and uh, it runs a Python script and compares it to a reference. So in this case it says build plate is clear and I just put this uh, into my start G code and it starts with the print so no issues there. Um, so if I come here and let's just I'll just put this uh, sharpie here So now you can see it on camera, and I'll run it again. Check plate clear, macro, and I've designed it to shut down completely. Yep, so printer shuts down, it doesn't continue with its auto printing, and uh, yeah, it saves the tool head. So this is pretty neat. I was really happy I worked all day on this to get it to work but uh, hopefully I can save some tool heads and stop buying adapter boards because they're kind of expensive. <laughs> Every time I would destroy a tool head it would probably be 60 bucks in parts. So yeah this doesn't cost any money it simply uses the camera on the Q1 Pro and uh, I'll make a longer video explaining how I did this in detail but I just wanted to uh, just make a video, show you guys. Pretty cool little feature macro that uh, I've set up here. And hopefully I can share it with you guys. And if you're on the same boat, we can all kind of cheer that we no longer are going to destroy our tool heads. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.